the 16th most common question asked about Islam is that why does Islam do injustice to women by only allowing 50% of the share given to the male counterpart that why do women in Islam inherit only half what is inherited by the male counterpart it's injustice to them this is the 16th most common misconception as far as inheritance is concerned the Quran speaks about inheritance in several places in Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 180 Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 240 Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 79 Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 19 Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 33 Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 106 to 108 several places it speaks about inheritance but the exact share is mentioned in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 11 and 12 and Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 176 Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 11 that as for the inheritance of your children the male will get double the share of the female if only daughters two or more they share in a two-third if only one daughter she gets half and what do you leave for your parents if there are children the parents each get one-sixth share if no children the mother gets one-third if there are brothers and sisters the mother gets one-sixth verse number 12 says in what your wives leave for you after death the husbands they get half if there are no children they get one-fourth if there are children in what you leave for your wives the wives get one-fourth if there are no children one-eighth if there are children don't get confused difficult to remember Go home, open the Quran, don't know Arabic, read the translation, Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 11 and 12. Generally agree, in majority of the cases, the female inherits half of that of the male counterpart. But there are cases in which female and male inherit exactly the same. As I mentioned, if the person who has died has children, mother and father both get one-sixth. Or if the person who has died has got no children but leaves a brother and sister both get one sixth there are cases in which sometimes the female inherits double if a female dies and leaves behind no children but has a husband and mother and father the husband gets half mother gets one third the father gets one sixth so mother gets double than the father but there are rare cases I do agree as a normal general policy the female inherits half of that of the male counterpart if your daughter and son son inherits double than that of the daughter husband and wife husband inherits double than that of the wife I agree with it what is the logical reason the reason as I mentioned earlier the financial burden in Islam is put on the shoulders of the men as far as the women are concerned before she's married it is the duty of the father and the brother and after she's married it is the duty of the husband and the son to look after a lodging boarding clothing and all financial aspects she need not work for a living she's financially secured based on this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put the shares and let me give you an example suppose there's a person who dies and leaves behind 150,000 dirhams and he has one son and one daughter after giving the shares of the wives and the other relatives if 150,000 dirham are remaining from his inheritance and he has one son and one daughter the son will inherit 100,000 dirhams and the daughter will inherit 50,000 dirhams now I'm asking you a question would you prefer being a son who inherits 100,000 dirhams and maybe 80 to 90 percent of that wealth you may have to spend on your family because you are the bread earner or would you prefer inheriting 50,000 dirhams and keeping everything for yourself not even spending a single dirham on anyone else so logically but naturally you prefer inheriting 50,000 dirhams 
and not spending a single dirham on anyone else rather than inheriting 100,000 dirhams and spending 80%, 90%, 100% of it on looking after the other members of the family. That's the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just. If he would have given both of them equal share, then I would have to give a talk on men's rights in Islam. Then the men would object. What kind of religion is this? We have to look after the family and when we inherit, we inherit equal. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees to it that is just with everyone. Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 40. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree.